Kale seed up here. Right. right? You normally you get your seed from Victoria because it's cold enough for them to set seed. So you obviously have a spot that's cold enough for them too. We have seed, kale seed from the northern rivers. Unheard of. The seed comes from Victoria. So now we've tro tropicalised our own seed here. Tropicalising. Hey, good morning, Bridget. Good morning. <laughs> I, well, it is when you when you get a seed that actually takes in your own area that is a, an out of area seed, and not necessarily um, seen to self propagate in an area because of climatic conditions. Um, it's called tropicalisation. Then, when a seed actually comes into its own cycle in an area that it's uh, it's not home to, okay, so it's adapted. So now that seed that Lindell bought in is blue knob seed isn't that okay. lovely blue knob kale barker's seed barker's, barker's, barker's vale williams kale. road kale <laughs> blue knob seed will do no barker's vale kale okay Birds on the wire, is there to inspire? Why can't we be just what we want to be? All we can do is sing our actors. All I can do is the music and words. The music and words. Birds on the wire. I will light that rainbow fire. I will be a bird on a wire, singing with a heart that jumps, riding with a pen that burns. Break away from the past. Imagine. So it's a nice project because then you think, ooh, three and a half loaves for nine months in nine square metres. We need a lot of space to grow bread <laughs> or to grow flour to make, you know, you know what I mean? And that, that was a good project because it also showed them how long it took, like nine months. And then if something happens on the seventh month and it wipes it out, you go back to, oh, oh. Back to month zero. And then wait again. So it's nice. It's nice when you can do those projects. So, so anything we don't grow, where do we get it from? Uh, we get it from the Nimbin food court. Ah, so it's all organic. Wow. So all the food you're cooking with is organic. Yeah. It's all organic. That's that's unreal. And what, what out of this stuff here? Um, can you tell me a little bit about the produce? So what do we got here? Uh, that's lettuce. Yep. Um, and then these are bark salts. Okay. We made. So what did you have to do? Where did you get the bark salts from? Um, I didn't know because I only the girls made them. Oh, the girls made them. Okay. Well, we can leave that. I'll ask the girls about that. Uh, the potatoes. Um, well, we picked them from the garden about maybe a week ago. Oh yeah. Look at them. They look fantastic. Yeah. Still got a bit of dirt on them, yeah. fresh from the garden. 
Now what have we got here? Limes. Limes. No, I don't think that they came from the school. Someone's tree. Yeah. Someone's backyard. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's cool. So think about that. Three for a dollar. One, two, three. Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Twenty-four, eight. There's probably ten dollars worth of limes there. And on a tree, on a tree, imagine how many how many limes are on a tree. So it's good business. It's good little business to get some money. Now what do we got here? Um we made those today. Uh, one of my mum's from school made, the, made those, um, those jams. Yeah, and these ones are lemon. And yep. strawberry, but strawberry went. Strawberry went. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, up here, we're going into the greenery. Oh, and there's some lemons, too. Yeah. Oh. Did they, where did they come from, Mandy? They're from Deborah's tree. Yeah. That's great. So everyone's contributing. So this is like... Your, your your whole school's communities yeah. bringing these things in here. Well, that's great. And you, you're growing some plants as well. Yeah. Some, they look like neem tree. Beautiful. Oh, curry. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's have a look at the veggies. Look at that. That, that is a big head. That's a big head of broccoli. Look, it's, almost, it's bigger than my head. I'll just replace my head with the broccoli head. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yep. You got a good meal in that. Yeah, I bet, I bet you would. And they're nice too. Have you eaten this before? Um, I think... <laughs> yeah. 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 It's pretty good. I, 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 I um. I paint this with a bit of olive oil and put it in my oven and bake it. Uh-huh. And then it becomes crisp. Yeah, like we did that. Um, that's what we actually did once. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. And we, we cooked it. And then here we've just got some nice flowers. Yeah. Do you know what they call this flower? No, I don't actually. It's called, it's got two names. Um, but its common name is called yesterday, today and tomorrow. Because... It changes colours. You've got white, then purple, sort of mauve, and then purple. Thank you. So that's that's kind of a cool plant. I like that. I think it's rosemary and a bit of parsley, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The parsley yep. was picked in the heat yesterday. Oh yeah. It's a bit. It struggled a little, but that's all right. It still tastes nice. It still tastes nice. Well, thanks for taking me on a tour of all your. Uh, all your projects, it's fantastic. You're really most welcome to come and see the garden one day whenever I'd love you... love to. Are you Sydney based or yeah. where are you? Yeah. But yeah. I'm, I'm doing a whole lot with Greg from Farmer's Choice. Yeah. Well, we yeah. went around to five schools yesterday. Cool. So slowly yeah. making our way. Yeah. 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 Crazy Costa. Crazy Costa, yeah.